Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you guys for watching. I wanted to do a more of a simple kind of look with the Norvina palette and let's just get right to it. I'm going to start off with this color here, which is Love. I'm going to use a nice fluffy brush. This is the Kylie Cosmetics number 15 brush. I'm going to pick that up and just let that really fluff out. And just what I want is a simple little wash of that pink and just kind of blend this out. Now this palette is very pigmented and if you are not really experienced with working with darker pigments you may have a little bit of struggle with this one but which I found I have a little struggle with it but you know any anything is going to be hard at first you know all right this is a crown number 512 brush I'm going to grab that and I'm going to grab this soul color. This is that cool tone purple. It's just so pretty. This is one of the colors that I really could not wait for for this palette. I'm going to darken the outer corner of my crease with that. Grab it lightly. I like this brush because it's very pointed and I can grab this right on the end and get it really where I want it. With these darker pigments like this. That is the best way to really work with them, is just really pick up a light amount and work it in there. I like this one because it's longer, you can get it where you want it, and then use the whole brush to really blend it in there. Bring that color up on that bone right there, the bottom of your brow bone. I'm going to tap on the side of this brush, picking up pigment more on the side, and I'm going to come in and I'm just going to... There we go, bring it up. I used it to kind of brush in like that and then blend it off. There we go. Just kind of really blend that in. Now, you guys know I do more wearable looks where um, a lot of the people that are showing these palettes, they do more glam, you know, out there kind of looks. But I look at it this way, how often do you go out and wear something like super glam like that? You know, wouldn't you like to know if you could get a palette and actually use it to go to work? You know, and just to go out like a date night and not feel like, you know, you've had to sit there for two hours doing your makeup. That's why I like to do more of these wearable looks. Now, if somebody, if some of you that just are purple lovers like me, want a nice purple palette this is nice I like it because it's got the cool tones in it now if you take out this color and celestial honestly right there you basically I feel like you have an extension to soft glam if you have soft glam I don't really feel like this is like a, a, a necessary to run out and get it palette um, That was not me. I'm sitting on this water, this pillow that has water in it. Have you ever seen those on TV? I have to show you now because that, that just was really gross. I was sitting on one of these pallet, pillows and it has this little, this water thing in it. It has a big water pad in it. But anyway, when I sit on it and move, I can't get it to do it get the water to move from one side to the other it makes that very vulgar sounding noise but anyway let me grab these real quick and show you this is soft lamb next to I want to get this without dropping it can we do that oh, okay I got it Hold on one second this is the Norvina palette next to soft lamb now if you take out this color and this purple here, oh, ah, thank God it fell on my legs. If you take out purple, this one here, do you see what I'm talking about? And you know, in that pink, really there's only honestly three colors that are really super different. I just and I just destroyed one of my colors. Ah, don't you love that? It fell into another palette and that's what happened. 
Oh. oh, goodness gracious. Shit happens. Yeah, I can't believe I did that, but that's all right. That was glistening out of my soft glam palette, which is one of the colors I really like, but it fell into the corner of that one. And uh, yeah. let me compare this to... Um, see, now... It, I'll tell you one thing about the Anastasia Beverly Hills. Look, this is a well-loved palette. This, you're going to have that. You're going to have kind of a mess. They're very, very powdery. All of hers are. Now, this is Modern Renaissance. If you want to compare that to... I'm doing this so it's more so you can compare the colors to kind of give you an idea of the color differences. Here's it next to Modern Renaissance see like this here and this color whoops this one here there's so many that are just so much alike um well while we're doing it let's just throw let's throw soft glam up next to them here we go I'm gonna throw all three up to it so you can compare these I don't see where honestly that they're so much alike I mean the color stories are beautiful don't get me wrong but I feel like that if you have soft glam, you don't need the Norvina palette. But you, really the only difference are those couple of purple colors. Now, I have always felt like the Anastasia Beverly Hills palettes are more along the lines of professional palettes. You know, as far as they're a harder to blend, they are harder to, um, they're just harder to work with altogether. Um, they are beautiful. Don't get me wrong. They are very beautiful. I am really enjoying this. What do I have on here? Huh. I'm going to go back into this. I'm going to go into this pink and I'm going to tap into this color. It's called base. I'm going to tap into that and I'm just going to kind of come up here and just blend that in. I'm going to tap into base by itself just to lighten that edge up here a little bit. I just feel like I've gotten, I've had to blend so much that I pulled that color up a little higher than I wanted to. There we go. But I just feel like um, palettes are not really, you know, newbie friendly. And not even newbie friendly. They're not like the, the makeup wearer friendly. Where... Most of these palettes are so worried about what people on social media are going to think, you know, what the gurus are going to say about the palettes. Who cares? You know, why don't you worry about what your customers think? Why don't you worry about how the actual product works and stop worrying so much about what, you know, Joe, Joe, Jim Joe, Billy Bob's going to say, you know? I'm going to go back and grab that. This is that Kylie number 15 brush. I'm going to clean it off in my June & Co. Um, color switch. And I'm just going to go right on the edge of this and just make sure to really soften that line. At this point I'm going to check and make sure I feel like, see, this is higher than this. And I'm going to have to go in. I'm going to grab a... I don't even know what brush this is. It's just a Morphe. And I feel like that's the other thing. Morphe doesn't number the brushes that are in a kit. Which is kind of kind of unfair because you can't read by the brush. It's so hard to match it back up. And if you're you're a YouTuber, how are you gonna tell people which brush it is? This is a, a, a natural brush. It's more on the flatter side when it's clean. It's more on the flatter side, wider, flatter but it's still real fluffy. I like these because they are very, um, they're fluffy brushes, but they're more, um, how do you call it? Uh, more easy to detail. You can place the product more right where you want it. I'm looking at a mirror across from me because I feel like I've got this higher than this over here, so I'm just gonna bring this right here up a little bit. There we go. It doesn't even take much. Just a subtle wash of color right there. Now what I'm doing is I like to kind of make that very defined right there in the crease. I wish this had a darker color. Like a gray or a black would have been nice. 
because I feel like that's one thing I'm missing in this because I would like to darken this crease up a little bit more but I don't want to bring in this sandy this reddish brown color because I feel like it's going to change my tone too much and well let me go into I'm going to go into volatile right here I'm just going to pick that up and I'm just going to go right tight into their crease right here just right here kind of wiggle it right there and right in a kind of round little circle right there that did it see what I was doing I just wanted a little feel like a little deeper with hooded eyes you want to make sure you get in there and get a nice deep you want to get a nice little deep V right there there we go very pretty now you got to be careful with your skin tones and same thing I'm going to use this brush and I'm going to go over this again just make sure that everything's nice and blended and nice and soft I'm going to dip into base which is this light tan color and I'm just going to wash this on this side to brighten it up I feel like this top part is just a little brighter over here and my corner over here is a little darker you ever have a hard time I always have to do my left eye first and then my right eye because I will never match my right eye to my left never fails I always get my right eye better than how I want it. God, why is this not? I'm, see, this is what I'm talking about where it's hard to, it's harder to blend. It's hard, a little harder to work with. I'm having a hard time and I do makeup like daily, you know, both of myself and other people. And um, speaking of which, I'm so excited. I have a wedding to do next weekend and um, God crazy she's doing the cutest thing for her her bridesmaids she's buying them all their color of mac um, foundation and everybody's using the same color lipstick and she's buying them one to keep they none of them know this yet but i think that's so cool and then she's buying them on necklace I, I think it's a necklace or something well let me not say it because i know there's a few i know she's on here and maybe a few of her other girls are on here so i hope i didn't spoil that but I think some of them know. I think they know about the foundation because she asked them all to uh, let her know what color they were and to go get color matched at MAC. There we go. I like this because, let me go underneath. I'm just going to run this underneath. Purples make my eyes really pop green. See, it really brings the green tones out in my hazel eyes. That's one thing I just love about this. just feel like I cannot get the color right right here, though. See? Right here, I want that a little... Oh, there we go. That'll do. Little dab will do ya. There we go with that. And um, I think on the... I have been... Now, the reason why I haven't put this up sooner is because I've actually been using this and trying it out myself. Now, on the lid, I have been using Wild Child, which is this one here. I absolutely love that color. That's the pinky tone. And we've got Dreamer, too. This is more of a champagne-y color where wild child is more of a pink I think I'm gonna use I, don't know, I'm gonna, I, I like that wild child I'm just crazy about it I'm gonna go ahead and use that on the on the um, I don't know there's that purple also I just there's one color that I was underwhelmed in this palette and let me show you this this is celestial this is that that shiny purple color let me get this on here I was just very, very underwhelmed with it. It just, because it's a cooler tone purple palette, and that is the color right there. It looks beautiful on its own. But let me bring in Soul, which is that, that purple color, which is that, um, that cool tone purple. See, it makes this look like a bruise when you use this with it. It's like when you use this color, it's just that one just doesn't, to me, doesn't really... I'd love to use that on my lid, but see what I'm talking about? It just kind of bruises that out. It's a little too warm tone, I felt like. I felt like the tone was a little off for what this palette was going for. But, I mean, you know, makeup's makeup. You do what you want. Let's see. There's this one, too. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even swatch this. There's this one. This is a, um, this is the one on the end. This is called Drama, and it's kind of a burgundy purpley kind of color there's that there see it's got kind of a shift in it a purpley shift you know what that would have been perfect 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 didn't even think of that 
it's it is a kind of it is a shimmer but I think it's more it is a shimmer but the way it sits I think it'll work for what I'm talking about I'm gonna go ahead and grab my fix plus and spray my brush time for a new bottle of fix plus don't you think uh, I don't think I have one up here oh, yeah I do I have a mini sorry I have a little mini up here uh, I go through a lot of fix plus. I'm going to wet that brush and I'm going to go into drama. Just kind of pat that on there. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that right here. I'm just going to pat this in this outer V. See how that. Hmm. I'm going to do that, but I'm going to go over it, I think, dry here in a second. Let's try that using it to kind of just deepen. Actually, you know what? That did kind of do it. I'm not real keen on it wet, though. Yeah, let me... I got that brush wet. I'm going to go ahead and grab the brush. I'm going to grab... That ain't what I want. I want kind of a... I need a little fluffy brush, but a tight fluffy brush. This one. Here we go. This is the M... 507. I think I just, I think I used this earlier. Anyway, that's this one here. It's kind of, kind of a pencil, like a fluffy pencil brush. I'm going to grab Drama with that. I've got it kind of damp. That's one thing about using Fix Plus. It will get in there and wet those. And I'm going to use that just to deepen that. I'm going to use that to blend out what I've just done. There we go. Because I did kind of set that down and it kind of left more of a there we go. More of a sharp line that I wanted out there. I'm going to draw that eye out a little bit with it because I'm not going to do a wing today. I was going to. I was going to do a purple or a pink wing with this and I've changed my mind. So I'm going to come in here and just really get that into that crease. Darken that. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted to deepen up that crease. That is pretty. This, <laughs> this cushion is driving me nuts. I need to get a different cushion because it's making very foul noises every time I shift my body weight. So, it's so embarrassing. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and grab, first of all, a clean makeup wipe. One thing working with dark colors, it really just, you get the stuff everywhere. Plus, I originally did one look and I did not like it and wiped it off and started over. Happens. All right, I'm going to go ahead and clean underneath my eyes. I don't want to mess that. I, I don't want a sharp, I don't want a sharp line right here. So I'm just going to kind of pat that on the corner. Wipe underneath and just kind of pat. Well, no, I'm going to go ahead and sharpen it. I wasn't going to, but now I am. I sharpened one side, so i got to sharpen the other. There we go. Bring that up. Bring that up. There we go. I haven't even done my eyebrows. I just thought of that. Go ahead and get that fallout. This does have a lot of fallout to it. it. Does have a lot of fallout. I don't have any any makeup on my face yet, but um, yeah. Let me do my eyebrows right quick. I can't believe I do that all the time. So often, do I do my do I do my um, makeup and do my eyebrows last? I'm just gonna sketch this on real quick. This is the number four um, benefit. Was it precisely, precisely my brow pencil, which I have been using more of the Mac pencils, but I'm in a hurry, so this is like the fastest. Uh, this is the fastest eyebrow you're ever gonna see, for me at least. Just gonna, I'm just defining them out a little, filling them in. Just kind of, there we go. And then I just take the other end and kind of fluff them. I don't like that little line I drew there. There you go. Not bad for a, what, two minute eyebrow? <laughs> you guys are probably going, oh my god, she did her eyebrows in like two minutes. How'd she do that? That's not how I normally do my eyebrows. 
And if you look, I've got one messed up. That one's jacked up. Let's fix this real quick here. There we go. There we go. I got them a little too squared off in the front, but that's cool. Good enough. Good enough. Oh, my little tails and my eyebrows. You know, I cut I cut them off because originally I was going to start sketching them a little tighter up, and I just never got around to it. All right, let's get back to what we're doing. I'm going to grab. I really need to clean brushes again. I'm going to grab this um my my glitter glue. I really need to find what I did with the lid to this. I dropped it and I like never find it. This is the um, NYX glitter glue. Glitter glues are all about the same. I've tried Too Faced. I've tried um, I've tried Violet Voss. I've tried a few of them, and they are all kind of the same. So I kind of just gravitate right back to the one that's cheaper. I'm gonna go ahead and take my glitter glue and just pat it onto the front, I guess three quarters, you call it, of my lid where I'm going to be laying that lighter color. You can also, you can go over the whole thing if you want, but I have that darker color on the end and I don't want to pick that up and get it over onto this other side. But when you, this glitter glue dries, it dries pretty much clear. Let me get this on in the corner of my eye right there. It's so hard to do with nails. There we go. But when you get it done there, you can go ahead and pat it on where you've done that darker color. Even though, you know, it's over the, the shadow, it will still help it to stick down. Now, <sighs> you want to grab a nice flat packer brush. This is the BH Cosmetics number no. 5 brush. This was out of their, like, I think it was like a festival set or something they had. And I just thought these these were really neat. It's thicker on the end than it is here. And they're long. I love, love, love long brushes. Alright, I'm going to go into Wild Child right here, dry. I'm going to pick that up, pack it on there. And I'm going to just pat that onto my lid. Just pat that on there. You know what? It works so much better with my finger. I feel like I'm going to be doing this all day if I do it that way. I'm going to go ahead and pat that on. Plus, with your finger, you can really press that in. When you kind of press them and buff the, uh, the shadows like this, you really get those pigments to lay flat. When you get a, a shiny shadow, a shimmery shadow, or a foil shadow even, to lay nice and flat the particles in it you will get more of a shine out of it and I like my I like my shiny you know metallic uh, shadows to be seen across the room I mean what is the point of using them if they're not gonna be seen you know I just feel like it's not it's not worth doing if you don't do it right don't do it at all you know why use a little when a lot looks so much better? Here we go. I'm just kind of kind of pressing it down and kind of sliding my finger softly towards the outside. Lay it down and then slightly just kind of pull it. And what that does, it kind of forces that pigment to really lay flat. There we go. And just really makes that pop. Now, there we go. I'm going to go back in with that. BH Cosmetics number five brush there and I'm not going to pick up any more product. I still had a little tiny bit on there but I'm just going to use that to kind of go around the edges just to kind of buff that down anywhere that I feel like it's laying too thick. Pull my eye. Don't pull your eye. Let me do mine. I wind up with all the wrinkles. Yes. But with hooded eyes and and maturing skin your eyelids get a little wrinkly and if you don't saw so, uh, just softly picking up a little product right now 
if you don't softly smooth those sh the shadows out that get down in there, they will just really look crumbly, kind of, and uneven. They'll actually kind of accentuate your wrinkles on your eyelids. I'm gonna come underneath here and clean this off. Yeah, ooh, that did not feel good. If you guys have been watching me, I did have filler underneath my eyes. Scared me to death, but it looks so much better. But isn't that pretty? Those shadows, these shadows are gorgeous. Don't get me wrong. You know, um, you know, you watch YouTube, you watch some of the, your favorite YouTubers, to get their opinion, they are opinions. Keep that in mind. But, um, just do you. If you want to get this palette, hey, get it. Don't listen to me. You know, you just hear my opinion. Um, I have heard that many people are giving this ravishing uh, reviews. Now, it's a great palette, don't get me wrong. I'm going to tap back. I grabbed Drama, and I'm going to tap right here into Soul. That was that uh, Cool Tone Purple. I'm going to put that with Drama, see, just to kind of give that back that more of a purple tone. Because Drama is more of a darker kind of shadow. And I smeared that right there, I just noticed. But I'm going over it. You can even use your finger just to grab some of the some of soul and just kind of pat that onto drama just to get it back to to a cool tone purple, but it's gonna be a darker cool tone purple. Now I'm gonna grab this is the same number five brush I've been working with and just tap into soul and I'm gonna tap into soul and tap into wild child and I'm just gonna lightly kind of diffuse that line right there. Just a little bit, because keep in mind you still have a little bit of drama on this too. You don't want that to get all in there. And kind of clean up that line. There you go. Very pretty. I am loving this color. Now, I'm going to go ahead and grab, this is um, it's just a flat um, brush, synthetic brush right here. I love this to do underneath my um, lower lash line. I'm going to grab and just tap it into sole, picking that up, and come under really tight up against the uh, lash line, and just work that in. Same thing on the other side, and just work that in. Now this is a darker kind of shadow look, so I think I'm going to use a lighter color in my waterline here in a second. Tap that off. I'm going to tap into love, which is this pink color here. And I'm going to bring that right in, in kind of the middle and work it back and forth, kind of shadowing it out of that purple. I'm loving that cool tone purple. I'll bring that all the way in to the, the um, lower lash line, right where your lash is in right there. I'm going to bring that pink, drag it on over all the way to there leaving that little area right here open for um, this color here, Dreamer. I'm going to use that as a little pop down there. All right. Let me grab something for my... Uh, I'm going to grab this. This is Urban Decay. It's called Heartless, and it's kind of a shimmery pink. It's a light pink. I'm going to use this for my waterline. Kind of a metallic. It'll kind of mimic that top color that we have on the top water, top lash line, see, and just give it a little pop. Just a little peekaboo of shimmery pink in there. I need to sharpen this. I need to sharpen 90% of my pencils right now. There we go. Just really kind of give it a shimmery, not super, super, you know, crazy stand out, but it really opens that eye a little bit. You can really tell when you look underneath the pupil right there, you can really see it. There we go. I am really liking this color. Now, I'm going to grab my little pencil brush here. This is a Crown C527 
brush and it's just a little tiny pencil brush and I'm gonna go over here and pick up dreamer Wow I'm gonna pick up dreamer right here these shadows are very soft and I'm gonna bring that right there in the inner I'm gonna pat it right here and then slowly just brush it down there don't want to go too crazy but I'm gonna pat it right there and brush it down to meet that other color here we go and you can kind of brush it slightly I like to catch the upper lid right there in the very corner just right there to kind of brighten that up and there we go now if you really want to get crazy with that you can pick it up tap it off really easy and really close to the brow hairs you can kind of come in I like to actually go into the brow hairs and then kind of pull it down and give it just a little pop of shimmer right there see how that just just a tiny bit you don't want to bring a whole lot I go really really close and I'm just going right here from the arch to the end and then I like to pet it with my finger a little bit and just kind of kind of wash it out see it gives that just a little bit you don't want to go really past here because you don't want to you don't want to highlight too much but that when you highlight little areas like that little in here when you have hooded eyes it's really going to pull that eye away from there and really make a super super huge difference now this is one of the things I'm going to start doing anytime that I review a palette. This is actually a review because I have used this palette, I would say, a dozen times. Let me throw some mascara on real quick. I can't even think of that. You know, I'm so bad about doing that. Let me throw some mascara on. This is my personal favorite mascara, and I only like it in the trial size. And that is Urban Decay Perversion. And I don't know why one of these days I'm going to actually get on the phone and I'm going to talk to somebody that will answer my questions at Urban Decay and answer my question why. Why is this different than the big one? Now look at the difference in my eyes. This is with mascara and this is without. It really just brings that, really pops that eye. You know, and I'm so bad about not wearing it. I, I, I forget so often and I like this one because it's got this nice full fluffy brush and I have very long lashes to begin with so I don't really need a whole lot and several of you guys have asked me why I don't wear false eyelashes I will occasionally wear them I mean very rarely and usually it's for photographs or um, you know if somebody's asked me asked me to you know demo a pair because I've had that happen a few times um, I have not really found ones that that really you know make me want to risk my lashes you know not being as pretty and long as they are you see I have very very long lashes so hard to show you on here I have very long lashes and I even am very careful with um, doing the um, mascara on them. So, anyway, this is one of the things I'm going to start doing is once I get done with the palette, I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is what it looks like after I've used it three times. You can see, especially this color here, this color here I've really dipped into, as well as the purple and drama I've only used today. The matte colors are fine, and Dreamer I just used today, they really, and they are just, they're super, super, super soft. See, I just patted into that one. I'm just patting into them. And see the, the pigment I'm picking up? Now, would I suggest, I kind of look at it this way. If my best friend called me up and says, hey, that, that Norena palette, did you get that? Yeah. Well, what did you think about it? My best friend was asking. I would straight up tell her. It's a beautiful palette. It is made just like the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Soft Glam palette. It's very along the lines of that and along the lines of the other palettes that she does. 
as far as I think they are more on the professional line. And I think they are more for people that um, do makeup professionally. Now, is it something that I would feel like ha you had to have? No. Is it something that if you're a big time purple lover that you would want and it'd be nice to have in your collection? Yes. I think there are so many other purples out there that are just as, um, this is Clinique, I'm using by the way, that are just as pretty, but easier to work with. I feel like this palette is more difficult to work with. It is not beginner friendly at all. Now, as far as someone that is more of a medium experience, like, okay, you do makeup on yourself, you wear makeup every day, you, you own probably 20 palettes, and you've been wear wearing makeup for many years, you're very comfortable with doing eyeshadow blending and whatnot, yes, it's, it's okay. You're going to have more of a hard time blending with it, and you're going to probably get a little aggravated with it here and there. I do. <laughs> God, do I. But I like it. Don't get me wrong. I like it. I just feel like that uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills needs to get a little more user-friendly with... Uh, the way it is becoming where there's so many people that do... Uh, that do makeup and they do it just a lot of people will go and they'll, they'll do their makeup just for pictures and then go wash it off they're not even going anywhere you know I've done that but you know it's hard to say I don't think it's really worth the money to be honest with you because it's just in the long run another palette but did I run out and get it? Yes. Why did I run out and get it? Solely to review it. Honestly, that is the only reason that I got it. Now, I, as you saw, I compared it to, to Soft Glam. It is so similar to Soft Glam that if you own Soft Glam, honestly, you'd be better off buying a couple of single eyeshadows that are cool tone purples and you'd have basically the same palette. So it is what it is. It's a beautiful palette. I love it. Now as far as if I were you and I was just somebody that wears makeup, I wouldn't get it. No. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am going to go ahead and finish getting ready and I will see you later. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.